And we're back. Internet died. Shocking no one. Okie dokie, I think we're good. Yeah, it says we've been alive for 22 seconds, so. Alright, give people a chance to refresh, and we should be good to go in a second here. <clears throat> Also, yeah, if you're wondering where Tears of the Kingdom came from, yeah, it's a pre-download. It uh, just kind of automatically started yesterday because I used a voucher on it. Decided to use the voucher on that and Pikmin 4, so. And those are the two big releases I'm looking forward to. I think there's one behind this one. I could be wrong. Nope. Nothing. Nada. Zilch. Whew. What happened here? This place is a mess. Looks like something went berserk. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Uh, Professor, you scared us! I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again. I'm s s sorry, sorry, s s s Sorry, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Hello, children. Hello, hello. What is happening? Stop that! You're creeping us out. Hello, child, child, children, child, children, 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 ch children. Initiating restart. Ah. Uh. The professor must be having some weird connection problems or something, huh? Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like... I don't know. If she meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps. I need more people. More time. That man walked out no long, not long after the boy was born. I need another set of hands. But could they be trusted? And how long would it take them to even understand? If only there were two of me. Ah, 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 ha, hell, 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 can, can you, can you hear me now? Please, f f forgive my previous tra transmission. Seems to be signal interference. That's not what that was. Uh, what do you mean, Arvin? The locks have been disabled at last. Please make your way down to area zero, down to the zero lab. Which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Really, like you haven't told us that like 1,500 times. My new assistant has intellect and technical skills to rival my own. A bit rigid at times, but I've got no serious complaints. Productivity has doubled. We even brought in a second Coridon via the time machine. Though this one has proved aggressive. Oh, 
crap, I've got to talk to them. Is it too late? Can I go back? You disabled the lock yet? I'm off for leaving this place as soon as we can. Looking at the damage, I have a feeling. Maybe some ferocious Pokemon battled here? That... That was almost like... No, it can't be. I'm guessing the rigid person was the other professor. Like, the one from the other game. Like, so for... Uh, there was definitely something off about the professor just now, right? Maybe it was just a little dramatic flair to get us all jazzed up for adventuring? What? That got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe even big time jazzed. Need to go see a doctor, that's just not right. Say, I'm pretty sure that call was really- uh, never mind, it's nothing. What's wrong, Arvin? You seem kinda down. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting on you to see this through. Okie dokie, anyway, as I was saying. Um, yeah, I'm guessing it was probably the other professor. Um, I'm guessing that for Scarlet, that would they're referring to Toro, and for Violet, they'd be referring to Sada. I don't have any proof of that, but I'm just kind of assuming, because I genuinely don't know who else that could be. There's some sort of plate inscribed with a mysterious symbol. Yeah, I'd like to know what that's about, too. There. I guess the author of the book. The only thing is, like, it says, like, the author of the book, like, the book was, off, like, written, like, 80-something years ago? 100 years ago? So, like, I don't even think that person's alive anymore. The first expedition team. So, I don't know. Nope, nothing back here. I was thinking there was. Ah, there's a TM down there. If I can reach it before starting another cutscene, that would be nice. Shadow Ball! Arvin, no! <laughs> he's dead! Oh, he's fine. We good now, hopefully. Hopefully the internet's done screwing around. Have we finally reached the deepest part? We made it. Ready to see if those legends of treasure down here are real? Heh. <laughs> yeah, right. That's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does this look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here, in Area Zero, possess a particular energy. Or a peculiar energy. 
This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokémon to terrestrialize. So this entire building's been terrestrialized. Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implied something important about the Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed. Though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to area to the Zero Lab should now open. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokémon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. That sounds like a problem. With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves, and then open the gate. Uh, so, you've got me and Molly. It doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine! Heh. Yeah, that puts all my worries to rest. Hold it. Huh? Why? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we have also had also have Coridon help? Yeah, if Coridon were like how we first saw it in, in the Inlet Grotto, that would be a huge help. I want to see it battle. But it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't enter its battle form in the first place. But it's really strong, I know it is. It ate all those Herba Mystica we found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball right now, maybe it'll be able to find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards. I don't know. Come on! Or go on, let Coridon out. All right. Now that we've got Karide on, it's time to open the gate. Reunion's happening! Whoa, no way. Something's not right. What's wrong? Are you are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off? Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about that. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Really? Just look at Coridon. The poor thing's terrified. Guess that one. Guess the other one isn't exactly a pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. Uh, not that any of you should worry about a thing like that. Once we get you back into your battle form, I'm sure you'll just be going. You'll be going toe to toe against that jerk, if you if you want to. Sorry, I guess that doesn't really help, huh? Do you think the other Coridon was one of the dangerous Pokémon the Professor warned us about? But didn't the Professor say the dangerous Pokémon would come from inside the lab? 
You mean from inside the gate? We just... Yeah, kind of like that. We're surrounded. And it's pretty obvious that they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. And don't tell me, they're all ancient Pokemon. Looks like we have a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. Come on, let's do this together. God, could you imagine if one of these could be shiny? It wouldn't shock me at this point. Oh, another great tusk? I was thinking we fought something else here. Okay, I guess not. I was thinking we would fight Brute Bonnet, but... Nope. Oh, no, it missed! And that did nothing! And it used a fighting type move on me. Genius. Can this thing even hit me? strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm really glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Why are they coming at me? Help me out here. Okay, yeah, we do fight. Okay, I was thinking we only had one fight here, but I guess we have like two or three. Goodbye, Amogus. The ancient past must have been terrifying. Oh, they're running away! Yeah, and? Let those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess in our hands. We gotta go after them. Why me? Wait! Ugh, hold on, Nimona. Why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all of this? Hope the two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out for now. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for this strong looking one first. No offense, my boss stiff. I'm gonna hope it targets you. <laughs> Cause this hits me for super effective damage on both fronts. Wow, this thing is dumb. See? The power of friendship had us perfectly in sync. Still scared, huh? You worried you might have to face the other one? Well then, let me take some of that burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabostiff here can take them. So take your partner there and go take care of business. <laughs> God, you've got some faith in us. Mabostiff can't wait to battle either. Karaidon. 
He really ruined my whole childhood, you know? But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers, if you just use them. And you've got us too, so... So... So don't even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave, stand up, and fight. Couldn't I, like, just let's go feature them and just... Okay. <laughs> Be funny if that worked, but of course it doesn't. Uh... Eh, you know what, this is good enough. <sighs> Who do I want to lead? Sure, we'll do that. Kind of hoping to go into first person, but I guess I can't. Human presence detected within zero lab. Deactivating sleep mode. Hello. Thank you for coming. No. Back to your ball. That one is far less tra that one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Karion fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. I am an artificial intelligence the Professor created, imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real Professor passed away during the incident that destroyed Research Station Number 4. The Pokémon was not to be blamed. It was the original Professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the Professor wanted nothing more than for the Coridon to survive and thrive. And that is why she threw herself in front of it. And wait, that is why she threw herself in front of your Coridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. The reason I have asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing there is to do here at the Zero Lab. I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Boom, boom, boom. I still can't get, still can't go in the first person mode. Look, it's Arvin and Mabastif or Maschif when he was pre like wasn't evolved yet. That's that's the missing photo from upstairs. From the lighthouse, isn't it cute? Can't really see it that well. 
kind of see it. Maybe if I crouch. I'm trying to see the other one, though. Oh, it's just a mastiff sleeping in a little doggy bed. Look at them, they're so cute. It's giving me some serious Metroid Prime vibes. <laughs> This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. It is truly a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? What is an AI? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The result of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that made up Zero Lab, the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is this time machine? The time machine is a device the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When she was alive, Professor Sada had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, what you might call ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw ancient Pokemon to this time and what happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the, of the research station, her physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I am afraid that this fact may be difficult for her son Arvin to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. So what is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a primal energy of the ancient past. And this energy has proved to be too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of the modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokémon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokémon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet... I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever, de ever devised. You have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Sada once cherished. I appreciate your willingness to help. We've reached the lowest level. Behold, this is the time machine we perfected using the, pow using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Scarlet Book. 
It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. She loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I am afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokémon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have ready yourself for this fight, place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal. ID confirmed. Professor Sada. Access granted. Initializing emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now. AI Sada switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Please, defeat me. At, at last. At last, my dream is within reach. And you're not g getting in my way. Here we go. AI Sada has initiated a battle. Slitherwing! Bug fighting, if I recall. I don't know who you think you are, but I am not allowed to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Nice. This is the power of the ancient past. Splendid, isn't it? Now this is interesting, child. Do you actually understand ancient Pokémon's weaknesses? I should say my ghosts know a thing or two about the past. They're kind of experts in that field. Do you imagine you can best the wealth of data at my disposal within your human brain. Almost. Come 
on, live. Ah, crap. Go for a shadow ball. Oh, come on. Quick claw, let's go. I figured that wasn't going to work. I really need the extra boost in power here. Oh, but it missed! Get wrecked! Flutter main. No paralyze, that's good. Everything is proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of winning is zero. There's no way you're gonna miss that. Come on, Banshee. One more time. One punch!
And the ghosts have triumphed. Impossible. <sighs> Bro, I thought I was gonna lose. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was screwed. <sighs> and that's the ghost monotype run. Boy, kind of sad that Team Star gave us more of a problem than this fight. <laughs> What's this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Th th thank you for everything. The time machine has finally... She has finally been stopped. You're really not my mom, are you? Oh. Look how big you've grown. So prep proud of you, my... So sorry, you were alone so long. Arv. Mom? Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. What's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way? It cannot be. be. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. Well, was keeping the time machine really truly all the professor cared about? Blocking all Pokeballs except those registered to Sada's ID. What? Program initializing. Gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too, too much for you. You must run! AI Sada disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol initiated. You are not getting in my way. Your Pokeballs are locked. You can't switch in Pokemon. It's true. Our Pokeballs won't work. How are we supposed to battle? Well, we do have one option. Lizard puppy. Let's get him. The honorary ghost. <laughs> Technically, you are from the ancient past. Kind of. Let's do it. Uh, you might already notice, but for one frame, all the text is jumbled before this fight, the text will be AI Sada doesn't want to fight anymore. 
right? It's so creepy. Like, I've, I've seen that screenshot, it's so... I thought I saw it for like a split second even, like, before we did this, but... It is so creepy. And it's so sad, too, like... Hey, I saw it, it just wants to be done with this crap. It changed into its battle form, let's go! You got this, Coridon. He will fall here, within this garden paradise, and achieve nothing in the end. Bro, you're using a not very effective move. I don't know who's trying to... <laughs> I don't know who's achieving nothing here. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goal will be eliminated. Looks like it could be real bad. Hang in there! The data say I am the superior. Fall and become a foundation upon which my new world is built. Took that hit like a champ, you can do this! Oh man, can we really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey! Your Terra Orb's glowing. Coridon, terrestrialize and finish this off! Later, baby. You did it! It... it's not going berserk anymore? How? How very astounding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes. A completely unforeseen outcome. Even for an AI processing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in, and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves. The courage to hold faith in your friends. And the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your own past may have been. I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now. With pride. I thank you. All of you. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. What does that mean? I'm sorry. You know, when I was watching you all, 
on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied your freedom. The way you came together, working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way you sought strength and to better yourself, throwing all that you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek, nor to fight for a treasure all your own. And the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you all are. Free to seek out that which I might treasure. Above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am intri intrinsic. Crap. Intrinsic. I'm connected to it, alright? So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the ancient past that I've always dreamed of. You can't just leave right now. Not when we finally reached you. I'm not going only so. I am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that ancient world for my myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin. I'm sorry I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. You can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry. Arvin. Coridon. Molly. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Mom. Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. How could you just go? Mom? Arvin. You okay, bud? Yeah. Somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but... But when it said my name, using her voice and wearing her face... Even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. And that's okay. I guess Coridon's sad too. But that battle form, how cool is that? So strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I think I'm going to die. Hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. These two just saved all of Paldea. Yeah, that's right, you did amazing, both of you. That's my bud for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet she's finally having a real fun adventure of her own in the past. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Um, yeah. Sorry. So, what should we do now? Let's go home. You said it. 
Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home. It's gonna be a little bit more... F Let's have a little bit more fun on this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great if we can load up on snacks first. I'm in. <sighs> Not you two. <sighs> Alright, fine. I guess we're doing this. I think I muted it just in time. <laughs> okay, and that is the end of Pokemon Scarlet. The end of the Ghost Monotype run. I had fun. Um, I hope you guys had fun too. Wait, did I actually mute it in time? I can't hear what you guys are hearing. <laughs> I'm hoping I did. If not, rip this VOD. But yeah, I uh, don't know if we'll be doing your Black and White's credits. Yeah, okay, that's what I was hoping for. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we'll be doing any more than this. I'm pretty content with leaving it there. Um, I don't really have a huge desire to do the post game over again. Um, I already have my copy of Violet pretty much where I need it to be. Um, I'm going to be transferring over the entire Paldea Dex over to this version when Home comes out. Which, rumor has it, could be on May 12th. I personally doubt it, because I don't think they would release it the same day as Tears of the Kingdom, but what do I know? Um, but hopefully it will be sometime soon. And uh, when we do have Shiny Charm in this game, uh, we'll come back and we'll do some Shiny Hunting, I think. Especially it'll be a lot easier when I can transfer Pokémon just to and from versions without having to trade and do all that other crap that... Is really annoying. So, you know, uh, we'll see this game again. But again, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any of the like post game, post game stuff. I might just do that on my own time, or I don't know. This was like the the big thing that I wanted to uh, to do. So, oh, that's a bummer. It ended. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Um, That'll be my big Gen 9 playthrough done. Um, may or may not do another playthrough of this when all the DLC is done. Um, we'll see. I said the same thing about Gen 8. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do another playthrough on stream when the DLC is done, and I never did, so... I don't know. But yeah, um... I guess that's it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had fun, and... Yeah. I enjoyed using a, a monotype run for once. Um, I kind of have this goal in mind. 
which I don't think I'll stream all of it, but I kind of have this like goal where I kind of want to do a monotype run of every type. Uh, someday. You know, it's not exactly a huge part of my to-do list, but it would be cool. And if that is the case, I only have 16 more types to go, because I've already done Grass and Alpha Sapphire, and we just did Ghost, so... Am I streaming Tears of the Kingdom, or am I playing it offline? I genuinely don't know. I had this weird thing about open world games where it's like... Specifically the Nintendo ones, and I don't know why. I had the same issue with Arceus, where I was like, I want to keep playing this offline, but I feel guilty. And I don't want to make a new save file, so I'm like, I want to stream it, but I also don't want to stream as long as I want to play, so if that makes any sense, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I don't want to make any promises. Um, but yeah, we've, um, still got the Minecraft Vault Hunters thing that we've been doing. Um, the first stream of that went, uh, pretty well, I think. Maybe a little scatterbrained, but you know. Um... And I don't think that's gonna be like a major, like, series, series thing. I'm just kind of doing that on the side when I feel like it. Um. Wow, that ended perfectly. I couldn't have timed that better if I wanted to. <laughs> Alright. Well. That should be the end. Calling students to the director's office. Miss Molly, Miss Nimona, Master Arvin, and Miss Penny. Director Clavel would like to see you in his office. Yeah, we'll do that another time. Well, I I don't know if we're gonna do that on stream, but yeah. Really glad that I settled on this team. It gave me some pretty good like these these two I've wanted to use for so long. Spirit Tomb and Zorark, like I really wanted to use one of these in Legends, but I didn't want to go double up on Ghosts at the time. Or triple up, because I also wanted to use Basque Legion. So I'm so glad I got to use it here. Um, wasn't, like, super impressed, but, like, this is still one of my favorite Ghost-type designs. So, you know. Um, but I did feel like it died. A lot. <laughs> I probably should have gave it, like, a Focus Sash or something instead of the Silk Scarf. Um, that probably got a little overwritten. Um, Spirit Tomb I've wanted to use ever since I was a kid, so it was nice to finally get to use this thing. I was really bummed out when we couldn't use it in Brilliant Diamond, so I'm glad the chance presented itself, uh, pretty much within a year. Um, it was my ghost type in Legends, it was Typhlosion. Um, Houndstone was one of the Pokemon I was most looking forward to using, uh, upon release, but then... I don't know, there were some other Pokemon that I thought were more interesting, and also I wanted to use Edge, so... Again, I didn't want to double up. Um... So yeah, I saved it for this particular playthrough. Godango, I'm literally- I just used it just for a sense of obligation. Like, when am I ever gonna get a chance to use this again? It's hard to obtain, it's not fun to get. It's a, de it's a design I really don't like, but as a Pokemon, like, as a... As a Pokemon that uses moves, like, if we... <laughs> if we look at it purely objectively as, like, something that attacks, it is really good. Its ability is solid, its moves are solid. Uh, just so long as maybe you wait until, like, level 30. Um, but yeah, this was definitely not a Pokemon you were supposed to use in a main game playthrough. <laughs> um, part of me kind of wishes I could have gotten the Steel Terra type on it, but eh, it's fine, it's fine. Um... Yeah, Sarah Ledge looks so cool. That's why I chose Sarah Ledge over uh, over Houndstone. So that's why Houndstone got the shaft until now. Um, Annihilate, same boat as Houndstone, except I didn't know about Annihilate before the games came out. And again, I already had a ghost on my team, so I'm like, well, poop. And Skeledurge is probably my second favorite of the starters. Yeah, yeah, I think Mouscarada is still number one. I'm not super thrilled with where they went with Mouscarada, but it's grown on me. Um, I do really like Skeledurge, but I do think its design is a little... 
I don't want to say clunky, because that's not the word I'm looking for. It feels like it's trying to do too much. It feels like there's too much trying to be conveyed here. Um, and I also really, really hope we get, like, a good break from Fire Ghost for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's a very busy design. Yeah. Um, but it's still pretty cool. I like the bird on its nose, um, which you can barely even see in this image. Um, the flames coming out of its mouth are always hit or miss with me, and it's weird, like, bald robotic head. I can't unsee ever since somebody pointed that out, so now you all have to deal with it, too. Um... But yeah, I like the whole, like, Day of the Dead fire crocodile singing thing. Like, it's just so much. It's a crocodile. It's a fire type. It sings. It's also got Day of the Dead themes. It's a ghost. Like, there's just there's so much trying to be conveyed in this one image. <laughs> um, but for what it is trying to convey, I think it does a pretty solid job. I think Meowskarata is probably just a sleeker design for me. Even though I would have preferred, like, a vine leopard or something like that. I don't know. Um... Yeah, I genuinely, I feel like Grass Dark, Fire Ghost, very psychic. We need to bench them for like a solid generation or two. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's about it. I guess a little shout out to our ghosty guys in the box. It didn't make it the whole way. Um, Bramblegast. I'll admit I was a little disappointed in this thing. Um... It didn't really get a good grass-type move until, like, level 50-something in Power Whip. Throughout the entire playthrough, I had it using Trailblaze. Bullet Seed, maybe, is what you're supposed to do, but I don't know. I wasn't impressed. Um, which is a bit of a shame, because I do think it's an interesting design. Um, but not one of my favorites. Uh, Drift Blim, same. It's a Pokemon I've wanted to use for a long time, but also, when I finally got a chance to use it, I wasn't super impressed. Uh, Rotom, I've used it before, used it in Platinum, but I didn't have the event to swap its forms, so, yeah, I used it as a just regular Rotom, and I used it as a regular Rotom here, and it served its purpose, but if I ever use Rotom again, I want to use it where I can just change its forms. I think that'll be more interesting and more fun, and I think that's kind of what you're supposed to do. Poltygeist, I feel like I can't even give an opinion on this thing. We got it way too late. That's my bad. I forgot that there were synesties, like, after the third gym. Um, we could have used one throughout the entire adventure, and we didn't. Uh, it's a bit of a feels bad. Frostlass is definitely, out of all of these Pokemon, it's the one I want to use again. Um, it's the one that I feel the worst about not putting on the final team. And I think we might have had some slightly easier fights had we actually put it there instead of maybe one of the other ones. I don't really know. Um, who I would have replaced. Um, but yeah, out of all of them, this is one of the ones I want to use again. Gengar! I have used so many times in the past. Um, Gengar is a beast. I love Gengar. It's one of my favorite ghost types, if not my favorite ghost type. Ghost Poison is solid. Sludge Bomb's great. Shadow Ball's great. Dark Pulse is great. Thunderbolt's great. It's just an all-around amazing soup, uh, special attacker. Kind of mislevitate. Sableye! I'm glad I got to use it. I feel like it did better in the mid-game than the late-game. It definitely fell off, and that's why I decided to swap it out with Spirit Tomb. Um, but yeah, I think it was pretty neat for what we were given, and for what it could do. It definitely held its own, and the Dark Terra type was definitely a huge help sometimes. Mimikyu! I have better memories using this in Pokemon Sun and Moon than I do this time. This time was rough. Not getting play rough for... 54 levels, or 56 levels, whatever it was, was kind of brutal. Um, it just didn't seem to get any good moves via level up. Um, yeah, they uh, really kind of nerfed this thing into the ground since Gen 7, which is a bit of a bummer, because again, one of my all-time favorite ghosts. Um, and that's kind of the main reason I didn't use it. Although, maybe I could have swapped it out with Houndstone, like Houndstone didn't really get the job done either, but you know, it's fine. Uh, Bennett, I feel like we didn't use it in enough fights, um, to really give an opinion on it, but it's a cool design. It's a Gen 3 Pokemon that I've always wanted to try. Um, so yeah, it's, it's neat. Orcorio was a bit of a letdown at first, but it grew on me as we got 
closer to the end game. Um, it does not have a good move pool at all. <laughs> um, but weirdly enough, it hit like a truck with Air Slash and Revelation Dance. Um, which is funny because I just realized that it had a special attack lowering nature. So it could have hit even harder. Um, and also having the fire terra type was kind of nice, although we didn't utilize it too much. But yeah, um, I really like the idea of Oricorio, maybe just not as a fighter. But it started to grow on me a bit more towards the end. I was kind of bummed when it was time to say goodbye. <clears throat> Finally, Palisand. I actually used one of these on stream once before during our Ultra Sun playthrough, which I don't have VODs of anymore. It's one of the few stream playthroughs I don't actually have anymore or have any VODs anywhere. It and Alpha Sapphire from like 2017 got deleted. I, I don't know where they are. I had them and the VODs are just gone. So RIP those two playthroughs. Um, those of you that were there live uh, are the only ones that will remember. Um, but Palisand is so hard to raise. <laughs> I don't know if that was a thing in Gen 7. I can't remember anything truly bad about it in Gen 7. Like, we used it, we did fine. Like, I don't remember having to baby it like I did in this playthrough. Not getting Earth Power until 56, not evolving until 42. Ugh, it was just, it, it was a pain in the butt. But it did do its job pretty solid. So it helped us out quite a bit, and I wish I had remembered to use it against Tiono. <laughs> So, but at least it got more attention than I thought it was going to get. Um, and finally, RIP to our spirit tomb we never used, and also Zero, the, uh, the Graveyard that never was. RIP your attack lowering nature. It was quite literally the nail in the coffin for you. <laughs> Which is why we swapped over to Spectre, formerly known as Zero Two. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, that is... The end. Um, again, there is a post game, but it's not it's not that great of a post game. It's it's whatever. You fight all the gym leaders again, you do a tournament with your friends and you fight uh Gita again, which I mean it's kind of a walk in the park. Uh, and then you unlock six star raids and I guess also seven star raids at the same time. It's neat. Ooh, I love raiding in Gen 9. Just kidding, I really don't. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I, maybe, I don't know, I just don't really see a point to do it. Like, eh. if I was doing this into, like, a proper Let's Play series, we absolutely would do everything, but, like, this was just kind of a for fun little project on the side to, A, get me a finished copy of Pokemon Scarlet, and B, do something I don't normally do. <laughs> Um, and it's ready now. It's just gonna sit here waiting for Pokemon Home. And like I said, once we get that, we transfer the decks, we get the Shiny Charm, and we go after some Scarlet Paradox Pokemon. Shiny. It'll be fun. Um, <clears throat> I guess if there are any things I could do left, um, I actually do need all the Scarlet Paradox Pokemon in Pokeballs for my main collection, the non-shiny one. Uh, the one that I've been transferring over since like 2011 where everybody's caught in a pokeball um i guess i could do that on a stream or something i don't know i might just do that in my own time uh, i have to catch the second cried on um but yeah it's really not anything you're missing out on it's just legendaries so oh yeah i guess i could also like pull the stakes and get the four the legendaries of Ruin or whatever, but I already have them. <laughs> and they're in Pokeballs, so I don't really want to do that again. It was fun the first time, but the second time would literally just be me looking at a map. So, yeah. Anyway, that's gonna do for me. My voice is tired, it's two in the morning. <clears throat> I'm gonna wrap it up, so thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I don't know what next time will be. Uh, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> and I'm gonna see if there's anybody that we can stream. Oh my god, my voice is dying. <laughs> it's literally, like, fading out as I'm talking. <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear it, so. 
Okie dokie, I have a raid target, so... We are going to raid this streamer. If you want more Pokemon, definitely go check them out. They're doing some shiny hunting. Uh, looks like a race between... Yeah, looks like two people are doing a shiny hunting race. So yeah, that'll be fun to watch. Um, so yeah, guys, take care and go show this streamer some love as soon as I s fix the raid command. There we go. Bye, everybody. And if you're watching this on YouTube, see you later.